All right, so I got a great question from a subscriber from one of our food truck videos. Uh, thank you, Mike. Mike had actually asked, how much does it cost to wrap a food truck? And in this podcast, I'm gonna give you a few pointers and things you should look for when you're getting a food truck wrapped. And what is the ballpark from the low to the high end? And is there any alternatives to actually getting a food truck wrapped? So my name is Damian Roberti. Welcome to Marketing Food Online Podcast and of course, YouTube channel. We will pop this video up as well as we have done before with some of our podcasts. Check out down below in the description if you guys are looking for any additional resources. We have a website marketingfoodonline.com that has tons of food truck obviously resources as well but every type of food truck you can imagine all kinds of great information stuff to get your food truck business up and started and also we have a ton of other information about other types of food businesses so we are in youtube's premier food entrepreneur channel and um yeah, sorry about that so yeah we are uh, youtube's premier food entrepreneur channel we have over a thousand videos here on youtube and we've got uh, over 50,000 downloads so far of our podcast, Marketing Food Online podcast. So definitely take a look at our resources. Let's dive into this question. Mike had a great question about this. And so number one, what is a food, tra a food, ra a food truck wrap? Sorry about that. And then why do you need to wrap a food truck to begin with? So a food truck wrap is a huge part of your advertising and branding when it comes to a food truck because the food truck itself, the actual physical truck, is your business. You're not going to be operating basically an e-commerce business where the storefront of your website is your business and that's where people see you at first and they see your brand, but the food truck itself is actually your business. So number one, why do you have to wrap a food truck? You need to do that for advertising purposes. You are literally a moving billboard, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, wherever, even when your truck is just parked. It becomes a fantastic way to advertise your food truck. So that is one reason why a food truck wrap is ultra important, but not just a food truck wrap. It needs to make your truck stand out. There needs to be vibrant colors, graphics, imagery of your brand, uh, even maybe images of the food that you're going to serve, plate, plated up dishes and actual sample images of that on your, on your food truck. So basically, number one, it's free 24 hour a day advertising that you're going to be driving all over the place. On average, I actually did some research to find out a little bit more about how many times the average food truck gets viewed nationwide between 40 to 50,000 views a day, believe it or not just from driving, and then this obviously goes up and increases if you're in urban areas, a lot more urban areas if you're in LA or if you're in New York or if you're in uh, Miami, these other places where it's very urbanized, that is going to even bring you probably even potentially 100,000 views a day of people seeing your food truck. So it is a literally big asset in your marketing and branding um, uh, campaign in order for you to actually promote your food truck. Now, the other thing you want to do is when you start to dive into, I'm going to get to the pricing momentarily. I'm just going to give you a couple of these criteria, things you really need to look for. When you get a company to wrap your food truck, you need to make sure that they have quite a few trucks that they've done, that they have a portfolio they can show you. That if you have any references, you need to definitely take a look at it. The reason why you need to really do some research and find out more about the company is because Number one, food truck wraps are not cheap. They're very expensive. If you, if you, it's a first. It's going to be an investment that you're going to put in about every three to five years. Some food truck wrap companies will guarantee their wraps up to seven years, but you're going to be doing this every three to five years. Why am I doing it every three to five years, Damon? Well, eventually it's going to fade. Eventually, parts of it will potentially start coming off due to obvi obviously weather, climate, heat, and dry and cold, and everything else. Eventually, that wrap is going to need to either be uh, touched up potentially, or even just redone completely. Okay, so make sure number one, you get a guarantee from like at least on a minimum three to five years that that wrap will not fade. Okay, if you're dealing with a company who is working with high quality materials and when it comes to the actual wrap itself, you need to have some guarantees in place. Even if it's a three to five year no fade guarantee, you need to also make sure that there is a guarantee against peeling in that little time frame of, of time between three to five years. Make sure that the company you're dealing with knows what they're doing. Um, there's a lot of lower grade quality vinyls that are used in the food truck industry when they're doing wraps and it comes off much earlier than that. That is not what you want because when I start telling you the prices of these, you're going to want to have a food truck wrap that stays on there for quite some time or at least has a guarantee um, that's backed by the company. Okay. Also be sure that it is laminated. An exterior lamination on the actual food truck wrap will help actually to protect not only the truck but also protects the wrap. Being laminated is an important aspect that you need to think about when you start asking how much does it cost to wrap a food truck. These are some of the things that are super important. The laminated part of it is ultra, ultra important. Make sure that you get that as well. Now, Damien, what actually goes on for marketing purposes? Okay, so you're going to say that there's about 40,000, 30,000, 50,000 people a day that's going to see my truck. 
what exactly should I put on the actual food wrap of the truck itself, okay? The food truck wrap. Number one, logo and brand are obviously super important. You have to get a fantastic logo put together. And by the way, if you need help designing a food truck wrap, did you know that Fiverr actually has design artists who can do that for you? They don't make the wrap itself. They create the design and then that those dimensions and all of that information gets sent over to or you can send it to the person who's actually doing the wrap. So check out down in the descriptions. I've got a handful of those direct links. At least you can take a look and do some research. Fiverr has some amazing artists um, that actually do food truck wraps, uh, believe it or not. So the logo and the brand are ultra important. You want that to be the most bold part of your food truck wrap because that is the brand. That's what you're conveying to your customers. So the logo and brand needs to be on there. Next, contact information. Yeah, believe it or not, contact information. Your phone number, business phone number or cell number, whatever number it is that you want someone to contact, why would I need to put the phone number on there, Damien? Because if somebody call, if somebody's looking for a caterer for an event or a corporation or a corporate event or something large, a large wedding, or a local uh, city or county or, or municipality is doing some event for the community, they're going to want to hire your truck. H how are they going to get in touch with you? What are you going to do? Who, how are they going to contact you? You need to have contact information, okay? Next up, all of your social media handles. So if you're on Twitter, your social media handle tw for Twitter. If you're on Facebook, what's the name of your Facebook page? All of those are really important also from for free marketing aspects. Why? Because people can go to your Facebook page. They can upload images taken at the food truck event. They can upload images that they've taken of your food truck or them enjoying your food while they're at your food truck. That's free advertising. If you don't have social media presence, you're losing out big time because you don't have to pay for that. You just say, hey, check, our, check us out on Facebook or we got some special offers or check out our website link on our Facebook. If you're a barbecue food truck and you're selling barbecue sauces, let's say you want to create a website and start selling barbecue sauces. You can add that to that. So your Facebook page becomes a link to your website so people can buy products from you. Why would you not want to do that and generate more money? Next up, number four, this is kind of interesting. Um, when you create your, your wrap for your truck, nowadays a lot of them have QR codes. You know, these are the little tiny square codes. People can scan that directly while they're waiting, taking their order or waiting for their food, scanning into their phone, and you can you can add tons of information on your QR codes about your food truck, about how to get in contact if you want them to cater your business. So much information can actually be put in that small little QR code. Take advantage of that. And then lastly, you need to have a website. Even if you're a food truck, you gotta have a website. Why? Because you gotta have an internet, you have to have an e-commerce e e presence. You don't have to have a, a website presence. You need to be online because you can actually include, if it happens to not be that you're selling anything, you can put information about your food truck, how to get in touch with you, the types of food that you're making, if you change a menu, people can stand in line and maybe look at more information about your menu. Websites are crucially important even if you're operating a food truck. All right, so Damien, how much is it? The, the video is about the cost, let's get into numbers. Okay, so on the low end, there's a handful of variables, but on the low end, between $2,500 to about $5,000 is the average medium price for a food truck wrap. Damien, that sounds pretty intense. That sounds like a lot of money. Well, there's a few factors. Number one, the type of truck that you have. Every food truck is literally different. Structurally, physically, the truck is different. The dimensions, the edges, the way that the truck is built, all of that comes into play when you have to get a food truck wrap put on. And that will either increase or decrease the amount of labor costs it's gonna cost for that company to wrap your food truck, okay? So the size has a big factor too. If you have a smaller food truck, obviously you're using less of the vinyl wrap itself and, and, and graphics and ink and everything else it costs to print and make this. So if you're doing it with a smaller truck, you may be on the lower end. So the truck variations, all of those different aspects from the size to the shape, everything about it, needs to come into play. So on a low end, you're looking at about 2,500 and on the five, maybe 5,000. Could you get something for less? Let's say you're on a budget. Yes, you actually can. There are things called spot graphics. These are graphics that are actually not covering or encompassing the entire truck. These are actual small little tidbits. It could be a logo, it could be your social media handles, it could be your QR code with a little logo separately. It's not an entire full body wrap of the vehicle. It's called spot graphics. So it goes sporadically. You could put a couple on one side of the truck and a couple on the other. You know, maybe the white truck that you've got, you painted a certain color, great, but you just don't want a full entire wrap because you don't have the budget. Those run between seven to about seven hundred to about a thousand dollars, depending of course on the size of it and such. But that's a smaller ballpark as far as the, how much money you gotta invest in that. So if you're looking for something that's a little more feasible, spot graphics may be something you could look at for your food truck. Okay?
So with that being said, that is pretty much what I've got to show you as far as the wrap of the food truck and what it costs. And the few things you really need to look for and even ask the person that's doing it. Um, I've got three other videos we've got coming up um, uh, on our podcast and YouTube channel. I'm actually gonna cover how do you actually make the food truck wrap itself and then how much does it cost to wrap a truck if you do it yourself? Okay, so take a look for those videos. Uh, be aware of those, we'll have those up shortly. Um, you can actually do this yourself, but to be honest with you, to have it done professionally it might be the better route. Um, and I'll get into the reasons why on those videos. So if this was helpful for you, definitely give us a thumbs up. If you have questions about this, let us know down below or comments. Or if you've actually, if you actually had your food truck wrap, tell us in the comments, how much did it cost you to get your food truck wrap? I'm sure a lot of our subscribers would love to know, you know your own experience as well. And I'll see you guys on our next video.